Hey guys, I'm back again, and uh, today we are building our own Linux distribution. <coughs> now we're doing this with OpenSUSE Studio, so there will be no command line, no coding or anything. I would love to build one like that, but basically we go to this website, we create an account, yada yada yada. Hide that. And we can choose a desktop environment, just an FOS, KDE4, or server, or de GNOME desktop. A text only base. I'll try that one later. Let's do just enough OS. Then we're gonna go OS nine maybe? I don't know. Okay. Now we named it, we can, uh, uh, continue building, I guess. <coughs> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. Now once you're in, you can go over to the, uh, build tab. Well, you don't want to build it just yet. Now you're just going to add software. So let's try our... I spelled that wrong. Let's do Metas. See if they have Metasploit. No? Uh, air crack. No. Okay, so we're just not going to add programs just yet. So we're going to go over to con our configuration. Language. How about we just do English for English? Do I just not see it here? Yeah, let's ask on first. That way we don't have to do with it now. We would like a firewall. Okay, uh, so we need to set the P O I S S I X. Firewall disabled, but not installed. Add S U S E firewall. Yes. Network. Manually configure network. Well, let's do that. Root the password will be. Let's, get, let's take a hint from uh, Cali. I'm just gonna spell root backwards. Every time something pops up over here, you can just uh, get rid of it and by doing whatever it says. Or if it's something like, well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the actual user in the root directory. So we're gonna get, yeah. The UID should be zero. Password will be, let's don't go to password. Group users. We'll know do root. Um, I'm just going to do slash root. And I was going to say this is a uh, directory that I shouldn't be in. It's going to be, yeah, the text says an unusual home directory. Subdirectory of home is standard. Now we're just going to do, I mean, let's leave that bin bash. That yeah, works. Open. Yeah, we're going to leave these open because you need this for server, um, websites and servers. You need this for SSH. You can personalize now we can upload a new image I'm just gonna upload whatever images I can find on here I uploaded the wrong one Uh, start on my little multi-user. We're gonna do graphical login. EULA is nice. Air Yeah. For a license agreement, just put GNU public. 
name free distribution and of course not liable for the use in any way of this Linux. Now let's see what we can do for a server. Yes. No. No. Too much work. Automatic user login. I can't do automatic root. Oh, really? Require a gigabyte. Eight gigabytes. Disk image. I don't want. Yes. No. No. I go scripts. Oh, we can do some coding in here. What this will do is it'll uh, pretty much ensure root access. So we're going to go sudo su tux. No. Su. No. So we're just going to make sure we get it. So we're going to do su and sudo su root. Just to make sure that any user is root. Now we could be a jerk and put the restart command here and that way whenever you boot it, it just restarts repeatedly. But we're not going to do that, so we're going to go over to files and can't upload a Linux file. Uh, configuration. I'm only going to do this very basic. Uh, I uploaded the wrong background, so give me a moment. I want this one. The other anonymous logo. You want to use a normal tux. And we need to wait for this to load. Oh crap. Hit the X. Now, if this doesn't make any sense to you, it's basically adding what you need to have a basic SUSC Linux distribution. It's not actually complicated. You can add all the software you want, so we're going to go with Grub, so we need that. Let's go C++, Python, Wine, it's a good one. Make, don't know what that is. Something to do with make, hopefully. No network manager, I like that. Telnet, that's nice to have. That's pretty much all you'll need, except maybe a. Let's see if they have Apache. Oh, what? Yeah. Now you can host a web server. So you can, once you have everything you need, I just did a very basic setup of 
anything you will or won't need. You can, uh, I didn't set that. I set the zero. But you can't get it now, it's, it's optional. Okay, so once you get it, you can, uh, build it however you want. You can do it as a Z gas image, Hyper V virtual image, SUSE Cloud Live preloaded ISO. Let's go to. But you don't. I don't need this as an upload, and it takes forever to do. I've done this before with a Troy OS and OS of Doom. I'm not gonna build it in the video, but you can if you want it as an ISO. Like I suggest doing USB stick hard disk image, or if you want a VDK or some to run in VirtualBox, I'd suggest that too. But uh, thank you guys for watching, and see you next time.